Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Norwich on the eastern side of the UK. We'll be flying the 737-800 by Zebo once more to celebrate. <laughs> Actually, it was pure coincidence. Currently, we've got 410 subscribers on the channel, right? I've just seen it and I thought, you know what? Someday I've got time to make a video. What else is there for 1-0? It's the ceiling, the flight ceiling of this aircraft, the 737 can go to flight level 410 or 41,000 feet. So I thought, you know what? Why don't we do a thing and see how quickly uh, from cold and dark we can get up to 41,000 feet. Uh, so uh, I will actually have to turn the battery on uh, in order so that we get the stopwatch. Uh, unless, 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 unless uh, I have... Let me have a look. I may actually have a... Oh, here's where it all goes wrong. I'll tell you what, we, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for it, and I'm just going to keep a track of it. Uh, we'll start in 15 seconds, and that will make it uh, exactly 22. Actually, it'll make it 19 minutes to 12 my time. Um, so, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All right, coming upstairs, battery, ground power. Get these into nav mode, although I guess if we really are racing. Let's turn that off for a sec, clear out the MCs. Uh, just going to put the lighting on the way that I like it uh, down here as well as upstairs at the back. Right on. Okay, anything else to do? Uh, logo light, main lights on. We've already armed the lights. We'll go ahead and put the anti-smoking signs on. I see no reason why not to get the uh, fuel systems uh, prepared. Get the power. Uh, indicators showing ground power. Looks good. Uh, we'll set that ready for APU gen. All right, so that is that let's come over to the panel obviously if we're trying to do this as quick as possible i have to wait for the uh, nav system to align but other other than that uh unless of course you know we're doing one of those zombie escape missions which i might do again where you know you're not waiting for anything to align you just got to get away from the zombies uh payload um i mean we've got to have witnesses right so let's go for like 500 pounds and and you know we'll just say that you know that's like three Maybe three people on board witnessing that'll do is actually put them all in at cargo. So you know what? Let's scratch that. Uh, we'll go uh, one male, two females. There we go. 526 pounds. That's fine. All right. Let's go back. Payload a second time. Fuel wise, we're going to want to be light, but not too light. We don't want to run out of fuel before we get there. I reckon it can be done. I, I've done it, actually. I don't know. Certainly £3,000, but uh, let, I, I'm going to go for £2,200. We'll see. We will have a low fuel notification, but we're not going to worry about it. All right, so that's basically as light as we can get the aircraft. Uh, let's make a start. So as we say, we're at Norwich. Uh, so pause in it. Uh, this is where I last flew. E.G. Uh, I believe it was, was it SH? I'm just having to. Refer to my Navigraph off screen and it is indeed Echo Golf Sierra Hotel. All right, there we go. Bang. Right, I'm not going to worry about gates. Grab the GPS, rig that in. Roots, EGSH may as well return. Doesn't really matter, does it? When it, let's have a look over here, airports, Echo Golf Sierra Hotel, see which way, and the runways are faint, so it's at east, west, 09 or 27, so let's now listen to that ATIS from when I flew in last. Orange. Information, Zulu, 1130, Zulu, arriving, runway 0, niner. departing, runway 0, niner. Wind two three zero degrees at four knots. Variable two one zero to two five. Well, that's interesting. So the winds are, are more, you know, southwesterly, but it wants us off the easterly runway. Overcast at 
Well, it's not that bad, so let's just go with it. Zero nine. Um. I'll just turn that down a tad. So we'll go with a flight number today, which is Internet Flight Rules 410. Activate that. Bang. Let's come over to the plan page. Zoom this out. We'll just put the beacons on. Uh, we've got VOR there. Let's go for it, ma'am. Right, 1015 on the QNH, so we'll dial that in. There we go. After ma'am, I guess we could go for wit. And that'll do. Let's get rid of the ATIS. We don't no longer need. Uh, we'll come back over here. How are we doing with regards to the alignment here? Status. Four minutes to go. Um, let, I'm going to go ahead and start the APU already. So APU on and start. Hold it. Two, three, let go. EGT is coming up. Uh, cruising. There we go. There's 410. I actually didn't realize. It's like the, you can put this all the way up to 42. Although the ceiling is 41. I wonder if that's... Uh, the ceiling still is 41,000 feet, but that's just to ease uh, the... You know, the stress on the airframe, because this was a standard thing in the Boeing 747-2 that you put an extra thousand on top of cruise just to reduce the, uh, the you know, the strain on the, on the airframe. Looks like the APU is ready. We can't upset the power while we're still aligning, but what we can do is get the bleeds on, put the packs on, and we'll just wait for the alignment to complete. Three minutes. Right, okay, so while we're waiting for that, let's finish up here. Let's come to the performance init page. Uh, depart arrival, zero 09, yes. Uh, performance init. Zero fuel weight. There we see, very low, uh, 95,000. Don't think I've ever done a flight less than 100,000 uh, 100, uh, 100, pounds, should I say before, in the, uh, in the 7.3 on this. Uh, reserves, where well, it's going to be dinging and donging the whole way. I wonder if we can actually put 0 0.1. Yes, we can. That's interesting. 100 pounds of reserve fuel. Uh, cost index, uh, it's not really a thing, is it? Because we're just trying to climb as quickly as we can. I'm going to go for, let's go for 30. And cruise, that obviously is a thing. Flight level 410. There we go. Uh, we'll clear out anything there. Uh, I'm going to leave the winds and top of climb information well alone. Come over to the N1 Lewitt. Of course, we want full power for takeoff. Uh, flaps 5. Uh, CG giving us... Because we're so light. Trim still, 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 still very well balanced, did it? Uh, whether the Boeing's uh, full or not. So let's put the trim down to like 4.5. And gives us the following V speeds that are extremely low. 107, 108 and 125. Again, the lowest I've ever seen. That's for sure on this aircraft. And so, V2 speed, 125. Usually that's not even V1 speed under normal conditions. Alright, so with that, we'll lock that in. Uh, get the legs page on your side. Unable cruise out, we'll ignore that because of course... It's, it's thinking that the route isn't long enough, but we're going to make it as long as it needs to be to ensure that we can get up there. Uh, there seems to be no departure for this specific runway, so it's just uh, 088 on the heading. Not that it matters, and then we'll just turn ourselves round and head towards the VOR beacons that we've tuned in. Um, initial climb will just go... Well, actually, I see no reason. Why not? Let's just put it straight into top of cruise. Just as if we were departing off some island off Tahiti. Straight, you know, the initial height is the cruising height. So it looks like our systems have aligned. System right and left, great. 
Uh, okay, so let's get the push back. Could have perhaps, could have perhaps already planned it, but. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. We are ready indeed. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. All right, let's get APU on. Seeing as the alignment's complete, put all the fuel pumps on. Uh, wheel well on for the ground. Put these pumps on. Window heat, my side and front, your side and front. Trim air on. Bring the temperatures back a tad. Your damper on. And everything now is great. Joe, you know what? We'll go straight ahead with the probe heats as well. Uh, just to save on a click or two at that point. What we got here? Insufficient fuel. Yeah, we're going to get that notification a lot. We're going to have to ignore it. Uh, ground services. Lights. Uh, Takeoff. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Should really do that before you sort of... <laughs> Uh, get ready for push, uh, press, you know, to board the passengers, but never mind. Better late than never, right? Uh, TCAS, again, will squawk with the subscriber number, which is now four. Where are we? Four. One out. There we go. Go altitude off. Go ahead to put the anti-collision light on and put the signs on. See there that we're getting lifted up. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Parking brakes off. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Okay, packs off. Engine two. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Fuel going in. EGT's coming up. Fuel flow into good start. Could probably already start. So let's go for it. Starting number one. Could probably still tighten that up by a second or two. I've never actually tried exactly how close. And, uh, you know, you can do, you know, put the other engine to start. Usually you would wait for the start of valve and all and the, the engine to settle. But I just wonder. Anyway, 23, 24 engine. Start with the fuel. EGT going up. Fuel flow is in. No minimum oil temperature. Interesting. All right, looks like a good start on one and two. Put them on bus. Two first, one next. Get the packs back on. Get rid of the bleed. Isolation valve auto. We'll go for continuous relight since Operation we're about complete. there. Set parking brake. Parking brake set. Everything over there is already done. I actually Stand got a little over height. overheat uh, indicator here. Not seen that before on the hydraulic cell. Let's get rid of APU. If that's a genuine. Got no master caution. Even though we do have the overheat indicators on. I wonder if that's just because we've just started and that's standard. I've never actually looked. But to me, that doesn't seem quite right. In any case, it could also be a result of just having low amount of fuel because the fuel is used to uh, cool down the oil from the engines. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Great. All right. So what we're going to do is straight ahead, uh, straight on to Echo. We'll not go full length, just on here, up here, turn right, and boom, 
Right, he's buggered off so we can go. We're not going to wait for him to wave. There's the turn-offs, flaps, one, two, five. There's RTO. Oh, we've got the caution there. Let's try it a second time. RTO's gone in. Great. Christmas tree. Looks good. Quick toga check, no warning. Actually go ahead over here, put the altitude reporting on. You stay there, Austin's food. <laughs> Wonder whose joke that was. Is this where I go straight ahead? Yes, it is. All right, we'll go ahead and put all the forward-facing lights on, strobe lights on, wing lights on, wheel well light off. Slowing speed a tad, put the flight directors on. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good flight. Thank you. Quick glance left. Looks good. Let's go ahead with the old Tara. Heading select. Arm the auto throttle. Start winding them up. And togas. What I'm not going to do is start the clock there because, of course, it's already been running since 19 minutes to the hour. It's now four minutes to the hour. V1, rotate. There's rotate already. Up we go. No D rate. So, this is as best of an acceleration you're ever going to get. Sea level, it's nice and cool. 400. We're empty and we're max takeoff. I guess I could have turned the packs off as well, but. 1000. Lots of downwards trim. I'm already going to go to flaps one. There's the deceleration. Why is it gone to cruise? Let's go ahead and put the autopilot on. There we go, level change. I wonder why the uh, auto throttle went back to cruise there. That was unusual. Flaps up. Speed level, flight level change. We'll go for 250. Gear off. And let's start this right under then. Whoa. Let's go for 240 initially. Push the range out. Weather. Do have live weather on. And look at this. Fuel wise, we're down to just over 1,600 pounds. We did start with 22. Currently burning over 13,000 pounds of fuel an hour. Although that will drop the higher we get. Switch standard now. Get rid of the draggy lights. So get rid of the turn-off lights. Uh, continuous relight can disappear. Uh, everything. It's still got the overheat here. This has got to be to do with the fact that we're in a very low fuel situation. Uh, wing lights. We'll do away with those. And we'll release the cabin crew. Keep the turn going. Because we want to be now direct to MAM. Legs page, MAM. We'll just put that in there. Make sure it's direct. And with it, LNAV can go. 
and we'll pick up the pace. Now, I'm not sure what exactly would be the uh, steepest climb, but I'm guessing a little bit of speed, but not too much. Should really have looked that up, actually. What gives me the fastest rate? I don't want the best angle of climb. I just want to climb the quickest. I'm just wondering if there is such a... Come on, you know we're going up to 410. What's happened here? Why... Why is my FMC... Well, it does know 410. I guess what I'll do is I'll just put another waypoint on the end. Not that we're going to go there, but... Just to add distance on. Only... And then we'll put big on the end. For big in hill. I wonder why cruise out got kicked out there. reassigned and there we go reckons we're going to be there before too long currently climbing 19,000 feet so here we are at 12.01 so we've been exactly 20 minutes since we started the, uh, the timer the video's been on the go for about 21 minutes at this moment in time but we started bang on 19 minutes to the hour. There's the master caution for fuel. We are aware we're down to just 500 pounds per tank. Slightly more on the right engine than the left. Because, of course, the APU was using fuel from the left. So, with a 1,000 pounds left, I'm beginning to question whether we're going to get there. Because, as you see, height-wise, we're only halfway there. Well, the fuel consumption is now just dropping below £10,000 per hour. So if we do a quick bit of math, that gives us around six minutes worth of fuel. I think what I'm going to do is reduce my airspeed. Let's try for 220 in the level change. That will get us a huge amount of vertical speed initially. But it's, uh, crucially, we'll get us into thinner air quicker, and with it, we'll reduce our fuel flow as well. Twenty-five thousand feet. Ah, it's switched over to Mac, and Mac's determined to keep us above. Can we manually change it and keep it there? Maybe we can. Let's keep it at 2.30 then. We'll switch over to Mach 0.6 once we're at that height. Where, where, where it looks like we're going to be there very shortly. 27,000 feet. 400 pounds. Soon to be 350 on the left side. I'm just wondering. Um, cross feed. Going to turn cross feed on. Um, so you know, when, we, when they die, they die. Get rid of the lights for what it's worth. We'll release the signs. Right. There we go, Mac point six. So we'll change over and we'll stay at Mac point six. Three hundred and fifty pounds of fuel per side. And we are at thirty thousand feet in a few moments time. going to switch this over, get rid of those, go back to the airport page. Thankfully there are. By hell, I didn't realise quite how many of the airports there were in the central UK region, but there's a lot. Look at it. Anyone would think we're in America. 12.04. It's been 25 minutes since the start of the video. No, it hasn't. That will be the case at 12.06. 23 minutes. 
Oh, I'm starting to wish I I, I put um th I put three thousand pounds of fuel in. We've got two hundred and eighty pounds per engine, and we've still got. Oh, it's not too far. It's not too far. Eight thousand feet to go. Fuel flow is seven thousand pounds per hour. Climb is starting to peter out a little bit. We're at 2,500 feet a minute and it's not able to maintain that rate of climb. Speed's dropping off all the time. I'm going to have to give it... Uh, I'm thinking to change over and we're going to have to try and hold the airspeed a bit here. Maybe, maybe for 200 knots. 230 pounds per side less than 500 pounds in total there's 35,000 feet another 6,000 to go that gives us less than 100 pounds per thousand feet to climb fuel flow is down to 3,300 pounds an hour per side and decreasing that still gives us well it's way less than six minutes what's that work out three thousand pounds bit mental math is just under one pound per second of fuel 200 pounds that's it's it's giving us about four minutes worth of fuel at this moment in time you know what we might just make it if we really do have four minutes of fuel current climb rates actually stabilized somewhat since i've gone over to the airspeed mode of 200 knots of course we are extremely light giving us a much lower stall speed than usual uh, and as soon as i say it climb peters out for a moment probably wouldn't hurt to turn into the winds but i guess it's all relative at this point come on man look at it struggling 160 pounds uh, someone's going to think, you planned it like this. You you knew how much fuel it we're going to use. You pla honestly did not. I, I really thought £3,000 would be more than enough just based from, you know, many, many takeoffs. Uh, not that I often come to 41000 but... A bit of a turbulence there, but I had no idea it was going to be this tight. Clearly would have put some extra fuel in. Alright, let's call it £250 in total to go. We've got 3,000 feet to go. And a bit of turbulence together with a little bit of lag there while auto ortho scenery no doubt loading stuff in. Let's get an external view. There we go. Looking very nice, I have to say. This is the latest beta of X-Plane. And the latest public one anyway. All right, 110 pounds of fuel per side. We've got 2,000 feet to go. We're currently at 2,000 feet a minute. Do you know what? We're going to make it work because I'm just going to pull back on level change to 180 knots. We're well clear of the stall. I'm actually going to get rid of the autopilot because I'm somewhat concerned here that we're going to run out of fuel. Pulling up. There's 40,000 feet. And there's 410. Ladies and gentlemen, you are officially part of Club 410. If you haven't been there before, you are now, at least virtually speaking. Let's go ahead. Put the autopilot on and we'll see. Uh, let's see if we can get up uh, any speed before the engines go. Just 70 pounds of fuel remaining there. And I were even confident that that was accurate and we saw they're pulling up very steeply at the end actually autopilot's given out there why is that get the l nav back there we go under actually let's see while we're here can we climb a bit higher yes we can all right let's go for it then and we'll change our cruise to 42,000 feet. There you go, bit of bonus content at the end. Go on, man. We've got 40 pounds of fuel aside. 
You can do it by struggling, though. Wasn't the... Yeah, there we go. We are above the certified maximum altitude. Got another master caution there. 30 pounds. Yeah, look at this. The aircraft's really struggling there. Perhaps a little bit too slow, but it does make it to 42,000. With 30 pounds of fuel to spare. And so, yeah, it is for perfectly possible to do. There we see 12.09, so we've been on the go exactly half an hour at this moment in time, starting at half an hour ago. Although clearly getting to from cold and dark to 4.10 was a 29 minute job. Um, both engines are on their max rating for the cruise. Trying to accelerate, and as you can see, in the incredibly thin air, that is so difficult to do. A maximum power there and level flight just can't do it. And that looks like we've just lost the engines. Engines fails both sides. Master caution. Well, at this height, there's nothing else for it. Down we go. We're going to have to dive due to the air pressure. Clear out the caution. Uh, let's have a little look actually on your side. This here showing the pressure. Actually not too bad, so I don't think we need to dive. Oh yes we do. Cabin altitude is raising actually quite quickly. Let's go ahead. Don the masks. How do we put on the mask? Right, I've clicked it and I can hear it now. <sighs> right, there we go. Actually somehow managed to come back up to 410 there. You hear the uh, cabin altitude warning. Yeah, we know we need to get down. So we need to divert and I'm looking for somewhere that I recognise... My trim wheel is not working that I'm so used to, so I'll have to hand trim it. I still need to trim it. Tell you what, man. It, it, I don't think I don't think the airliners can glide this well, this high. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've seen my insane manoeuvring, and we're still at 38,000 here. And I've got no engines at all. I mean... You know, they're just free spinning because we've got no fuel. I mean, look, there's there's no response. The rotation is, you know, it's purely because we're moving through the air. But I, the, the glide ratio seems kind of insane up here, I have to say. I mean, I'm, I'm deliberately pulling back slightly on the stick there. And look how little the speed is dropping off. And now some will say, oh, the air's thin. There's not much resistance, but come on, man. All right, let's let it go. Come on, people. Uh, are the uh, masks... I, I guess they're probably not simulated... Where is there a mask switch? There probably is a mask switch somewhere. I've never thought to press it though. I've never looked for it. It's probably behind a cover switch somewhere. Oh well, let's dive and continue to trim. There we go, trim wheel. was actually stuck there for a moment for reasons unknown. Let's continue diving down. I mean, in real life, you'd have the boards out to be getting down. I mean, we've got we've got so many airports there to choose from. Let's just do it. There's the boards. Making sure we don't enter into the red speed. Yeah, that's a nice rate of descent. Can't even think about starting the APU yet. We're far too high. But there's a whole string of airports just here. 
let's have a look. What's the uh, cabin altitude say? What's that? It's about 18,000 feet. I think the differential's almost down to zero. Yeah, so the, the masks have got to be down. I tell you what, this is um, XP realistic doing this camera bank angle thing. Gonna have to reduce it somewhat because although it looks actually really cool, that twisty motion, it does make it quite difficult to read the instrumentation. So that's not me using track I or whatever. That's the XP realistic doing its uh, camera turn. Actually really cool. It just needs, at least for me, just toning down just a tad. There's 22,000. We're not too far away from being able to boot. Although we've got no fuel. The APU does have a little bit of fuel within itself. Or it should do. But that's only going to last a minute or two. Maybe I should try and hold on to that until we get lower down. And then I can use it to, to power the hydraulics. That's the plan. When we get low down. And there is a little bit of lag there again as auto ortho. Joe, it doesn't always lag. I, I don't know if it's just because we've been covering a lot of distance quite quickly. Can't really explain it. In any case, it's okay again now. All right. Well, passengers should still have their masks. And so what I'm going to do... They have about a 15 minute supply. So, gonna ease off. Yeah, trim wheel still not functioning per the electrics. Once we get the APU on, that will change. Come on, man. There we go. It's as if the trim wheel doesn't work when we're either above a certain speed at all, and then all of a sudden it starts to work. There we go. Right, that'll do. Let's zoom in on the airport page. What have we got? Oh, I should have really been looking out for the ones that I recognize. EGBK. We're right over the top of EGBK. Let's have a little look. This is where you really need, like, two crew, right? EGBK. Ugh, that's a no-go. Um, EGBT. EGBT. That's a no-go. EGDD, surely. The, when the double letters come together, it's usually a bigger one. Vista. Oh, it's still not... Looks like Bicester, but I happen to know it's Bister. Um, oh, we uh, we don't need the insane descent right now. There we go. And again, it's we're going to keep on hearing the cabin altitude warning until we get below ten. There's nothing I can do about that. At least I don't think there is. Oh, um, EGBE. Coventry. Oh, this one, this one, maybe. Yep, yeah, Coventry 6,500. That's great. Arrival. Um, this is weird. It's got five arrivals and no approaches. Are you for real? I've never seen an airport have arrivals. And no approaches, but well, I guess I have now. They must be sharing arrivals with somebody else. Maybe Birmingham. All right, that's what it's going to be. Echo Golf Bravo Echo. So, uh, routes, page one. Echo Golf Bravo Echo. Put that in. Okay, depart, arrive. Echo Golf Bravo Echo. Doesn't really matter which way we come at it from. Uh, we'll give ourselves a three mile final coming in at four degrees exec 
come over to the root legs page now there's the turn we'll keep it going to the left trims actually I'm quite happy where the trim is for now it's working pretty well I'm going to get rid of the airport page now get rid of the clutter see again uh, XP realistic the camera there while it looks cool I'd rather be looking at the instruments I have to keep moving or slowing my view around actually you know what at risk of upsetting somebody where are we here the um, what's it called I'd forgotten it did that actually the uh, the head anticipation actually the roll's pretty cool the pitch there we go uh, the delay's fine uh, it can have a delay uh, let's, so we'll reduce the roll and the pitch a little more your we'll reduce that one a bit as well there we go alright I think I'm quite happy with that we'll roll it off there 20 miles to go 10,000 feet uh, any other information that we've got here airport elevation 263 that's crucial can't dial it in but it's good to know so we're not expecting to go down to zero uh, have we got any weather there not really no frequency so I'm going to cheat and press this oh it says no weather information typical if we refresh no still none okay we we'll just have to trust it, similar to what it was when we took off, which was 10.15. We're actually going to be flying into... Uh, well, we're currently flying into a headwind, so it'll be a tailwind landing, so we actually need to switch runways now. Uh, so let's do that real quick. Runway 2, 3. Uh, same 3-mile extension. It's not redone it, though, has it? Or maybe it has. I'll tell you what, let's go for a four mile extension, force it to rewrite its uh, waypoint. There we go. Legs page. There we go. RX23, runway 23. There we go. We are now below 10,000 feet. We're at 8,000. So the caution panel. Let's see, it's still 10,000 feet in the cabin. It's going to stop beeping momentarily. There we go. Cabin was temporarily lower pressure than the outside. That's now done. Yeah, so the plan is uh, to fire up the APU. Hope that there's a little bit of fuel in the uh, APU, even though the uh, tanks are clearly empty, so we'll turn them all off. And we will then make use of that hopefully to power trim flaps wheels what not uh, the hydraulics for all that once we're down or, or, or almost down uh, there does seem to be a lot of imc conditions so lnav vnav i'm going to set the altitude to zero because i mean we're going down anyway there's no there's no point trying to stop halfway uh legs let's just double tap the top one to make sure that's in vnav i guess we've got none so let's go for flight level change i uh, don't have that either mcp can't actually give myself a speed for the flight level change i'd love to be able to just give myself yeah, i don't know well, there's flaps up speed, so a best get best glide would be about 190. Speaking of which, start trimming back. I don't know if we're going to make this or not. So you know, voice recorder and all that. Uh, let's just put flaps 30 in, so we've got a number. Ten miles to go until the final approach. We could have always, uh, of course, head towards the runway, and that is also about ten miles away now. What is the height there for the four degrees? Two thousand feet. So if we get 
to our final approach spot there, 2,000 feet. We've then got a four degree down. I've given myself that extra degree of final approach glide slope just because we don't have engines. It's actually looking a little bit tight. I don't know. It might be okay. It might be okay. Aircraft with this tendency to keep wanting to roll to the left. Give myself a tiny bit of... Oh, that's actually very effective. Tell you what, man. I need to trim aft even more. There we go. certainly don't want to climb that's not an efficient way to fly but to ease off the descent okay let's begin the turn to final i'm going to start and try and fire up the apu now three two one and go one press because it's going to use a lot of electricity to try and start it if it don't work it don't work and I'm going to make my turn towards the airfield now. EGT is not rising, so I don't think we've got it. There's 2,000 feet. That's where, well, just over. That's where I wanted to begin my final approach. We've got two and a bit miles to go, but that's, again, it's, it's not enough. Because we're sort of at flaps up speed, so I'm going to make my turn to final now. Even though we're in IMC, hopefully we'll drop out the clouds shortly. And it looks like we are just coming into visible. Now, there's my turn to final. Come on, come on, come on. Do you know what? Quietly, quietly confident. We're going to have to stay clean for as long as possible because, again, just the drag and nothing we can do about it. I'm lower than I want to be. And the speed's starting to drop off now as well. Just going to uh, trim down just a tad, just to try and keep the... Yeah, you see now the tendency is just to pull up, but it doesn't matter. The runway is in sight. Let's go flaps one. Here comes the gear. Hopefully the gear will deploy. It doesn't appear that the flaps are doing. So I'm actually going to give myself some trim go. because my trimmer isn't working and push down on the stick. The flaps are not working at all, but it does sound like the gear's down. Uh, we do not have three greens, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Glad I put that, pulled that trim wheel up ahead of time. By that was rough. Yeah, I can feel. I think the back of the the gears has collapsed. Oh, maybe all right. Maybe all right. One squeeze of the brakes. Because we don't have any more. Look, if Big I let nuts. go and squeeze the brakes again, there you can see the pressure. Look at it dipping down into the yellow. It's not being replenished. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coventry. Actually, even though the gears were down and locked, as you can see, they were down enough. They didn't buckle it. They certainly felt a bit wonky where we touched down, but we survived it. And so there you go. 410 Club and back down in record time. Hope you enjoyed the flight. And until next time from me, thanks a lot for being a part of the channel here on Internet Flight Rules. Take care. Bye-bye.